Okay, welcome back to another episode of Bogan Engineering. Today we are specializing in doing things off camera. So, let me quickly show you what's happened. Right, first of all, we have the center console out, as you can see here. Things to be aware of, the usuals. There's one harness clip here, and there are two bolts at the very top leading edge. Do not bend it upwards to get it out, please. However, before you remove it, you also need to remove this section here, where the shift boot goes. And there are clips where you can easily get to from here. One, two, three, pop them around and get that straight out. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, the A pillars, which we've just removed, have two clips, top, bottom, and they have the Bose speakers hidden in here. Uh, you can get behind that with a flathead and push it in and it'll come straight out, which is pretty good. Uh, if you do get stuck and you can't get it out, wiggle the mechanism for the speaker this way towards you and you can actually pull the entire thing out and then just pop it out by hand. It all depends on what you've got. So let me quickly show you where we're up to in this adventure. So at the moment, we have, let's just shine a little light on the situation. There we go. We've got the A pillars out, which is great. Probably also helps with focus. There we go. We've got the entire center console out, which is great. See that soundproofing or lack thereof in here? That's, that's bare metal, guys. Some sound deadening would go a long way in this car. Probably gonna have to do that. And you can also see on the other side here, we have got the A pillar off. So the question is now, we've got these bolts here exposed. How much more of this dash are we gonna have to pull off to get this top section here all the way? So stick with us, because here we go. Minor update. So, quick look at where we're up to. So far, the cluster hood is off, the passenger side under dash is off, the middle cluster section is off, next up will come the dials along the center here, and the bottom section underneath the steering wheel, and we'll have a quick look at removing the dash, because if you can see in there, We've got to get all this section off, which means that dash cluster has to come out. All right, back we go. Oh.
It is the next day. We are now closing everything up. So stay tuned. I'm going to finish this and then we'll sweep over the interior. Cool. Okay, so final check over. Everything is back in. See now the seat belts are all through and through. Connected back up. The ECU is now all covered and it's been replaced. Let's move this back, hey? Okay? You can see here. The dash is now all back in. The cluster is all reconnected. Everything else is included. The only thing left to go is these panels here, but we'll do those in off camera, I think. Alright, let's move this back. Passenger side is now all done. Look at that clean dash. You have no idea how happy I am to see that not split in half. But as you can see guys, everything's back in. Everything lines up nicely and it's looking all pretty again. Which means that with any luck, what I'm about to do will not blow every single airbag in the entire car. So let's just come around here. You can see that the uh, negative lead has been disconnected. Ooh, bit of spark, bit of spark. Right, so the battery is connected. The key is present. So is Blue, the Whippet. Goodbye Blue the Whippet. Now I am going to put this up here. And you're either going to see something really funny and devastating or something really good. Alright. Uh, so you guys should be able to see the cluster from there. Alright. Here we go. Oh, tight fit. Really, really tight fit. With everything back in. Let's move that upwards so I can actually fit in this car. Alright. So far, so good. Unfortunately, even with, no, oh my God. No, no, there they are. Okay, so we've still got the airbag deployed warning and we've still got the active bonnet malfunction warning, unfortunately. So even though we've got the new airbags put in, we still have to go get the ECU checked out. It could be worse, I will be honest. It could be much, much worse. Okay, so... Next steps, I think, are all pretty much well known by everybody who's been listening to me the last couple of weeks. It's time for the body shop. 
So, to give you guys a bit of background as to why the car hasn't gone yet, to get the car back on the road, they wanted all of the airbags to be replaced before they started doing the panel work because it makes the whole process much easier. Uh, this lovely beast is now set to go to have its panel damage repair. Let's just make that noise go away. And we're going to have a short hiatus probably whilst that is being done. And the next time you see it, it should be all back together. Alright, so next week, don't expect much of anything, if at all. Uh, yeah, and we'll see you guys soon. Have a good one. Alright, so thanks for tuning in today. I'm Matt. This has been Bogany Human. If you really like what we're doing, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and if you're really keen to help support us through this build, hit up our Patreon. The links are all in the description below. Have a good one. Peace out.